Hey everyone, this is John from EastCoastArmory.com and I'm here today with a model showcase video which is leaving many of my subscribers currently scratching their heads. This build here is definitely not something that I frequently do on my channel, however, it is an interesting build nonetheless. This model showcase video is that of a undefinable scale M4A1 Sherman tank. The model that you see here is built 100% out of the box with literally zero mods whatsoever that have been made. We'll be going over the features and what exactly is this thing in this video. As what's customary in these videos, let's go ahead and take a quick walk around the model. The model that you see here is a cartoon characterized version of an M4A1 Sherman tank. This particular kit here was given to me as a gift by my father. It was a complete surprise. And when I got it, I honestly wasn't sure what to make of it. The characterized versions of vehicles is something that has been made through many years by various model companies and is a kind of a niche type interesting field. At first glance, the model's art style reminded me a lot of an old video game that I used to play on my laptop in college, which was called Think Tanks, in which you have these cartoon type tanks driving around and you get to blow each other up. It was a fun game that I, I like to play on my old computer and seeing this tank in its box art form reminded me a lot of that type of art styling. However, as it turns out, this particular kit here is a licensed product from a video game called World War Tunes. World War Tunes is an online computer game in which you have all these various cartoon eyes versions of World War II vehicles. Other than the Sherman, I believe a Tiger One cartoon eyes kit is also produced by the same company. After getting the model, I went ahead and immediately cracked open the box to start the assembly. As you will see from the upcoming scenes, this model is an extremely simple build to take on and is definitely one that pretty much anybody can tackle. The model was built, painted and weathered, and in my usual format, after the model was completed, I went ahead and filmed a model showcase video as well as also did the photography to post on my Facebook page. However, unlike my other builds in which after the model's finished I go ahead and do the editing and do the uploading, for this build here I decided to hold on to the files for a certain point of the year. The model itself was completed about six months ago and I am actually currently recording this narration on the eve of April Fool's Day 2018. As I figured April Fool's Day would definitely be an appropriate day to release a video of the subject matter that I have here. Now even though this particular bill is very different compared to my usual subject matters that I typically post on the ECA channel, as I frequently mention, I often take on commission build projects from models ranging from 135th scale all the way up to 1 6th scale. If anyone is interested in having a build built to the specs that you see here or anything that's a little bit more traditional and true to scale, I often take on commission build projects and for availability and price line information, that information would be best by contacting me through the email address listed below, which is info at eastcoastarmory.com. Now normally on my videos at this point here, I would go ahead and review the model kit in its raw state and show the viewer what the kit contents are. However, this build here, I was, honestly I built it so fast that I didn't even think about even making this video, so no photographs or footage of the unboxing was present. However, the model itself started off as this plastic kit from Meng. Now Meng is not a unknown company. In fact, they are widely known in the armor modeling circuit and produce a wide range of very nicely detailed and well-engineered kits. The model kit that you see here is from a licensed product line that they have for the video game World War Tunes. The kit itself is comprised of predominantly injection molded plastic parts with of course the exception being that of the decals as well as the tracks. Now, unfortunately, I do not have any of the photographs of or footage of this kit in its raw state. However, in the instruction sheet here, you can see what the kit contents are. 
you have three large plastic runners, the decals, as well as the tracks, which are made in a injection molded rubber. The pieces are extremely simple to put together and are very basic in their overall shape and detailing, which for a build like this is part of the charm. Starting with the model suspension, the suspension on the model here is actually designed to be functional. It can be rolled and pushed. As you can see, all of the moving components are fully functional and rotate very easily. Other features that the model has is that the bow M1919 machine gun can go up and down. The turret can, of course, rotate. The gun can also go up and down, and also a nice feature is that the commander's copula split ring hatches open and are fully functional. Now, even though the majority of this build consists of very large components, there are a handful of smaller little details that need to be added. These, of course, would consist of the tools, the lift rings, as well as the brush guards and the headlights and taillights. Now, even though the parts are made in a very robust type of plastic, they do have their limitations. And the reason why I say this is because the fit for the headlights and the brush guards, as well as the tools, are actually very tight. Because of this, a beginner or someone who is complacent with this build may encounter issues as the pieces may break on them prior to them being fitted in or seated in fully which is why I recommend on this model here for pieces, namely that of the brush guards, to have some fine sandpaper or even a small needle file just to open up the clearances on the parts so that they fit in in a lot simpler manner. Other than that, another thing to point out is that of the seams which will be present. The hull is consisted of a few components that get mounted together and because of which you will have some seams to contend with. Now the model is very simple to work with and the seams were easily polished away with some thick super glue as well as a little bit of putty here and there. The turret also has a seam to contend with with the top and bottom portions which once blended away make for a nice seamless appearance and also of course like any model helps the look of the overall piece. As for paint and markings, the overall painted scheme that you see here is my typical olive drab, which I've used on many of the other builds which are posted on the channel, as well as on the ECA website. As for the markings, these are all the kit supply decals, and the decals were extremely high quality. They went on without any issues. They lacquered on and weathered on with, again, no problems and shows for the quality of the main decal sheets which are more than likely the same type of quality supplied with their other kits. As for other tips for painting to help make the model pop, things like painting the machine gun, the bow headlights, as well as a nice little swipe of gloss black on the bow periscopes also makes them pop a little bit. As for the tools, I painted them in my traditional manner as I do on all of my other builds. And the tail lights were also painted with a drop of red on each. Now, of course, normally on my other builds, this one here would be blacked out. But again, for the subject matter at hand, the creative licensing was taken in was more than suffice for this build. As for a skill level recommendation, literally anybody can build this kit. From someone who's never touched a model kit before, all the way up to a person that's built thousands of them in their lifetime. The model built extremely quickly. In fact, I had this build done in about, I say about three or four hours. What probably took the longest amount of time was waiting for the putty and the paints to fully dry. Other than that, yeah, anyone can put one of these kits together. And as for recommendation, really anyone who's of course a fan of the video game will more than likely enjoy one of these kits, as well as anyone who just wants to have some a little bit different in their collection compared to the typical more traditional type tank kits that are on the market. And that concludes this model showcase video for this caricaturized M4A1 Sherman tank. If you like this video, stop by and like us on Facebook where there are more photographs of this particular build posted as well as many of the other more traditional builds that I've built and posted on the channel. Also, don't forget to stop by EastCoastArmory.com for more 1.6 and 1.16 scale builds and detail components. Thanks for watching.